Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is day eight, happy Saturday. I hope all of you have a wonderful and a safe weekend. Um, tonight we are, maybe. Tonight we're going to go to a magic show. His name is Mike Super. He got like number three on America's Got Talent. And then I think Mabry and I are about to go for a walk. Maybe walk to Smoothie King because I think to have like the $5 smoothies. But otherwise, it's a pretty chill weekend. I may be going back to Kansas Sunday morning. My sister just had surgery. And so my daughter and I, Mavery and I, may go there and watch her. Um, she has some softball games, which, <laughs> yeah, she just had surgery. But the doctor said she should be fine. And so I wanted to watch her play some softball games. And then we will head home. And so, yeah, I don't really know what else we have going on. Like I said, I may or may not do that. On my babysit tomorrow night but anyway so today's video I thought I would do a mother tag so I'm just going to answer some questions and yeah I thought it would be fun kind of like simple and different than my normal like I've been doing quite a few vlogs and so I figured it would be different okay number one how old maybe <laughs> how old were you when you had your first child um, I got pregnant at 19, yeah, but I had her when I was 20. What was the hardest thing about being pregnant for nine months? Um, honestly, <laughs> my pregnancy was very easy for the most part. I got very blessed, and so I don't know. I mean, I, I enjoyed being pregnant. Like I said, it was fairly simple. Um, maybe the fact that I worked. <laughs> I worked like three jobs and so it got very tiring but I don't know otherwise it was fairly simple and I loved her little kicks and stuff but then again if you've been pregnant you know like at the end you're just ready for that baby to be out um oops let's see it went away from me can you think of any good things you enjoyed during those nine months yeah I enjoyed like all of it like watching my bump grow taking my bump pictures um feeling obviously her little kicks for the first time her little hiccups she had those a lot my husband feeling her move for the first time so there was a lot of stuff that i enjoyed getting to see her like on the ultrasounds because their technology nowadays is like really good and so we saw her like 28 weeks and they like it was very distinct features um getting to find out if she was a boy or girl that was exciting in your opinion were all the things you heard about childbirth accurate or way off I mean, I guess it was accurate. I feel like you don't really, oh my goodness. <laughs> I feel like you don't really know until you're in that moment. Um, it was definitely painful. Hi. Anyway, so it was definitely painful. Some of the worst pain that I've ever gone through in my life. And I had a natural birth. But then again, like my friend and I were talking the other day and we're like, honestly, I think having like a tooth pain was probably worse than childbirth because tooth pain is, that is like, the worst pain in my life but I mean childbirth don't get me wrong whoo yikes like oh but tooth pain oh my gosh that stuff is bad as well what are you doing what are you doing okay okay where are you going um would you have handled childbirth differently if you could redo it no probably not like I said I had a natural birth so I think that's like very like good and I mean, I'm not like saying like, like whatever birth you have, like you're amazing, you're strong, like seriously. But it was very empowering for me to have a natural birth and kind of just let my body do its thing. And it um, allowed me to realize how like strong that I actually like am and could be. And so I wouldn't redo it. No. I mean, maybe I would tell myself to breathe a little better, but you know. What would be your advice for someone who is about to have a baby? Um, I would just tell them that no matter how bad you want to meet your sweet little baby you're growing, to just like slow down, just take it in, take those last bump pictures, um, just put your hand on your stomach, just take in those moments because literally with a freaking like blink of your eyes, it's going to be over, they're going to be out. 
And so, yeah, you just got to truthfully just take it all in and slow down and um, just truthfully enjoy all those kicks because you never know, like, when one kick will be the last kick. What has been the hardest thing about being a mom? What are you doing? Um, I don't know. I mean, I absolutely love being a mom. I guess probably just feeling like I'm doing enough, whether that be, like, bringing in financially or like sometimes I feel like I'm like on my phone too much or watching too much TV or cleaning too much. So I guess just being content and feeling like I'm doing enough for my child. Um, what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? Um, we are like best friends. Like she is my little best friend. Like I love it and it is, I think it's like all so rewarding. But um, our breastfeeding journey, that's, that's been very rewarding as well because it's also very difficult, but it's been very rewarding. We've almost been going on for 10 months, and so that's been awesome. What was the most surprising thing you discovered about being a mom? Um, just like how, I don't know. It's like, what is the most surprising thing? Um, I guess. I've been getting more sleep than I expected to. Like every time you talk to someone, they're like, oh, plan to not get any sleep at all. <gasps> what happened? And like my husband were talking about, like when she was born, like we still, like we feel like we didn't lose any sleep at all. Like we had a great sleeper. Like for a while, we would sleep in until like 11 to noon because she would keep sleeping. And so I guess that surprised me. I planned to get like no sleep at all. What is the best memory you have involving your child? Well, she's almost 10 months, so, um, I don't know, probably so far just watching her grow, honestly, and taking her, hmm, probably the other day, our little Sonic date, I don't know, that just made me so excited for, like, our future dates, but just, like, watching her and just being in that moment, and, yeah, so that was a good memory with her and I. What was the most exciting milestone? Um, I guess when she started crawling or she could say mama and dada. What is the worst thing your child has ever done? <laughs> I don't know if I want to say. Oh my goodness. Well, well, she's fell off the bed. She's fell down the stairs. Um, oh, yikes. She has picked up our dog's poop. Mm. Um, what habit did you... Wish your child didn't have. Um, I don't know. Probably her bad napping habit right now. Like right now, she could go all day without a nap. And then she'll go to bed. Like she won't be fussy or anything. Like she's fine without a nap. And then she just goes to bed at like 7 or 8. And so it's like my husband said. He's like, well, it's not like she really needs one. But it's like I need her to take one. So right now, yeah, that's the bad habit. What habit of theirs makes you most proud? She is so happy, so smiley. She will smile at anyone and everyone. Like, people ask me all the time. They're like, is she always this happy? I'm like, yes. And so I love that about her. Do you share any similarities with your child? We have the same butt chin, first of all. Um, since she's only 10 months, I don't really know personality-wise. Um, we're both kind of dramatic. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, she has my husband's eyes. I'm not sure yet. I'm just like the butt chin right now. <laughs> um, where would you like your child to be in 10 years? In 10 years, she will be 10. So I hope she's just like excelling in school. She's happy. Like she's in a good mental place. I hope she just realizes how loved she is. But overall, I just hope she stays as kind as she is now. And that she still smiles at everyone. And that she just still makes everyone happy like whoever sees her. So yeah, what is something that having a child has taught you? Um, just how like precious life is and how truly short time is because time flies when you have a child and so it just makes you realize how precious each moment truly is like with them because it's like dang, like in a blink of an eye, like she's not my little newborn baby anymore and it's like time truly flies and so you have to Soak it all in and treasure every single moment.
Did you imagine that you'd be a mom at the age that you became a mom? Um, not like when I was younger, but definitely like when I was getting a little bit older, I kind of knew that I wanted a kid and that I wanted to be a mom. Describe your child in a single sentence. Hmm. Let's see. Mavery Jade is the most beautiful and sweetest and the best baby to your mama. Yes. Period. <laughs> like this, look at that smile. Hi, baby. Oh, you're gonna fall over. You got your remote, yeah. Okay, last question. How have you changed as a person since becoming a mom? First of all, I have a very short temper, so I've obviously had to work on that. I've had to, um, my patience has had to grow tremendously. <laughs> Because, like, this the other day, though, I was thinking, I was like, oh my gosh, how am I ever going to get after my child? Because I just, like, love her. But I want to be one of those parents, like, who remembers that, like, so if she, like, the other day she spilled something. And I was like, I want to be one of those parents who remembers every single time something happens. Like, that spill can be cleaned up. Like, the food on the floor can be cleaned up. But me, like, if I yell at my child or whatever, like, her, like, mental, like, her, like, mental... Or whatever like I can't fix it if I yell at her and scream at her and am just so nasty but I can always clean that mess up but I cannot fix like what hurt it would cause her if I like am screaming at her or something like over a spilt glass or whatever so so definitely I've had to become more patient and uh, I just really like mature more because I mean I'm raising a baby like she looks up to me like she's going to look up to me she's going to hopefully want to be like me and so I just have to remember that every single day like I am raising a little human who is going to grow up one day and I can either be someone she wants to look up to or someone she wants to be the opposite of and so that really has just like matured me and yeah so I think that's the end of the questions oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's 20 questions all about being your mommy kiss Hello. thank you <laughs> kiss you gonna clap there see she can do it so yeah that is the end of the video or the questions so thank you again for watching and don't forget to subscribe and stick around and like this video because I am once again posting every day the month of June. So far we're doing good and so far no Starbucks either because if you didn't know I'm doing no Starbucks the month of June. And so yeah, thank you again for watching. Can you say bye? Bye bye. Ah. Bye bye. Uh -huh. Say have a good weekend. Say ma. Oh, those double chins. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Give me kisses. Mm -hmm. <laughs>